the state of Arkansas are considered very high. And with spring right around the corner, it can be hard to differentiate between the flu and allergies. So to help us out, we've got KNWA's Brianna Moore. She spoke with a health expert about the steps you can take this morning to make your life a little bit easier. Brianna. Good morning, Perry. Well, I spoke with Nicole Henry, who is a pharmacist with CVS Health, and she tells me that planning ahead for allergy season and knowing its symptoms can help you during this season. Well, according to CVS, symptoms of allergies are usually last longer, anywhere from two to three weeks per allergen. Flu, on the other hand, can range anywhere from one to 14 days. When it comes to weakness, body pains, and fever, this is usually not a symptom of allergies, but is common if you have the flu. Thirdly, allergies are rarely accompanied by diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting, but that can be a symptom of the flu. As we begin to approach allergy peak season here in Arkansas, pharmacist Nicole Henry says that knowing your allergens and treating them beforehand can help eliminate allergy symptoms. So just very important to make sure that our patients are being proactive. They're taking those medications ahead of time, antihistamine, decongestant, corticosteroid, to make sure that they don't experience those allergy symptoms, or if they do, it's very mild. Nicole says that it is important to remember to consult a health care expert before taking medications to make sure you are taking what is best for you. Well, according to todaypollen.com, it says that allergens here in Fayetteville are pretty high. So as Nicole mentioned, it's never too early to start preparing. Perry, I'm going to send it back over to you at the desk. Okay, Brianna, I appreciate that reporting. Let's go ahead and pull.